Morning everyone, it's your boy here, Abdurrahim. We are back again with another great, amazing tech video. The video of today is all about the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2. So it's really kind of great and amazing video of today. So for further talking, further ado, let's get started. Whoa, there we go. As you can see, that's the box of the uh, Z Fold 2, which is really kind of impressive. So we're going to just unbox this kind of phone, but I've already unboxed it. It has already been unboxed. I'm just gonna share with you guys what's good. So not everything is there inside the box, but I'm gonna share with you guys what's happening. So as you can get a little bit of a clear clue. And this kind of version, it's a Korean version. So enough of me talking, let's get started. So guys, as you can see, this is the Galaxy Fold 2 and it's really kind of great and amazing box packed. I like, it looks like a butterfly here, which it's really kind of great. I like the way they gave it. And check this out, how you can open the box because the box is already open. So forget about that we're not like opening the brand new one now nah. so just check it out Woo. Woo. that's how it looks like and we're gonna remove this kind of stuff just beware don't remove this and or just don't unbox the way I'm unboxing just take care of that because the phone will fall so you can see here what we have in this pack somewhere here you get this kind of packaging here first so uh, what's packed in here I think it's some paperwork and yeah bunch and bunch of stuff inside here so yeah another kind of stuff you get another kind of paperwork which it's on top of the phone so the phone is already unboxed so just don't say like oh what's going on in here I'm just showcasing you guys how it is so this is how it's gonna be on the phone side you can see here so this is like it's paperwork stays here on the screen so this is the Galaxy Fold, as you can see guys, really kind of create an amazing phone, right? Okay, we're gonna get back to it, because you can fold it. Woo! It's impressive. So another kind of stuff, on this kind of box side, I forgot the power brick. So the power brick stays here, and these are the earphones on it, the AKG earphones, which comes with it, which is really kind of great and amazing, you can see here guys, this is the AKG uh, earphones wired let's talk about the phone because this is the main kind of key point you can see here how it is at the back and this one the color it's a goldish color or i can call it the ember or rose gold it's really kind of great and amazing kind of color and the finishes are really good i like the way they finished it at the back you can see their camera side here which they're really kind of great and amazing on the camera side it has a 12 megapixel of camera and it's a uh, you can see there are three cameras at the back which one it's a wide and the second one it's a telephoto and we're having the another one which it's ultra wide both of these camera are 12 megapixel of camera which they're capable of shooting video up to 4k 60 frames per second and 1080p up to 240 frames per second which it's really kind of great the front side it has a 10 megapixel of camera which it's a wide and it's really kind of which on the video side it's capable of shooting up to 4k 30 frames per second which it's really kind of impressive about the battery side it has 4500 milliampere of battery and a 12 gigabyte of ram and a snapdragon 865 5g plus which it's on board and another kind of stuff it's a 7.6 inch now 7.6 inch that's uh, how the overall of the phone how it looks like which it's really great on this kind of phone it has a amoled and it's a 120 hertz refresh rate which has an hdr 10 plus which it's really kind of great resolution wise it has a super amoled display and a Koning gorilla glass victus which is impressive android version you name it it's android 10 upgradable to android 11 and i think this kind of bad boy it may be supporting up to android 12 and many more because of the specification which it has it's really kind of we are inside the phone it's already on as you can see this is the menu side i'm gonna just decrease the brightness a little bit because uh, i just want to see entirely what's going on so as you can see guys this is how the screen looks like it's really kind of impressive and this is the menu side of the phone you can swipe anywhere you want to let's go directly through settings and check out what's popping so let me just adjust a little bit of line a little bit a little bit up to somewhere there so yeah you can see some wobbling with the lightning <laughs> kind of crazy but uh let us just try readjusting it Oof, that's more crazy so let me just push the lightning up to there 
okay we're inside settings guys as you can see there are a bunch and bunch of stuff going on in here first of all you can see some redesign throughout setting but if i'm unfolded is it unfolded or folded okay unfolded you can see the bunch and bunch of settings expanded which looks like a tablet which is really kind of impressive by the way it's really kind of awesome another kind of stuff if i just fold it you can see how much setting side it's been compressed so it went back home i don't know why so this is how much uh setting side looks like if you uh folded it which it's really kind of impressive so this is how this kind of galaxy fold looks like and you can go directly through all the settings you can turn on the dark mode and it's really kind of cool i like dark mode impressive you can test around font and change some fonts and um i like the way samsung goes with that kind of thing thing it's really kind of impressive you can add bold font if you want to and you can just tweak around some few settings it's really impressive and kind of stuff on the storage side as you can see this kind of phone has a 256 gb of storage and a 12 gigabyte of ram which is really kind of impressive you can optimize throughout the software of samsung and give you much better throughout the phone but trust me this kind of phone is capable of being throwed a lot of stuff so i didn't install any kind of gaming but trust me gaming experience throughout this phone it's quite impressive because of one thing it has a 120 hertz refresh rate throughout this kind of phone which it's really kind of great and i think you can tweak around through refresh rate how much you want it and it's really kind of great so let's go here on the search and say refresh refresh right if you're gonna get it uh or it's automatic refresh rate i don't know so there's nothing here as you can see i thought that there is going to be a refresh rate button which you can switch between 60 hertz and 120 hertz refresh rate which is quite not bad you can increase touch sensitivity you can add the edge button as you can see you can just add gestures it's really kind of impressive i find it like gestures it's more cool because you can swap around to go back stuff like that you can even uh, give it more precise throat gesture to be a little bit more faster and you can even show the button or hide the button if you want to so show button to hide keyboard okay okay uh gesture hints you might be guess getting gesture hints if you want to so i remove that kind of button because i just don't need it which is really kind of impressive but still you can see how much the phone it looks like it's really kind of awesome What's up, everyone? It's your boy here, Abdurrahim. We're back again with another great, amazing tech video. The video of today is all about the Amaz Fade GTS Mini 2. So, enough of me talking, let's get started. To be honest, the Galaxy Z Fold 2, I can call it the really kind of great and amazing technology for the Fold because it's a really kind of great and amazing phone, not only because it's folding, but because of its own kind of capability or features which it has. To be honest, on this kind of phone, it's really kind of good, not because of how it is, that's how much I'm saying, but it's because of how much Samsung has put a lot of work in terms of folding devices. As some of you guys remember, we saw the folding not because of Samsung came up with this project, but we saw for even Nokia back in the days, had a great and amazing folding phone and I saw one of the Nokia back in the days and one of my friends showed me I was surprised on how much it is. So I think Samsung had to make it and brush it right now to make a little bit things clear throughout the Fold series, which is really kind of impressive. So this is my first time having my hands on this kind of Z Fold 2 and it's a really kind of great and amazing phone. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed on this kind of great and amazing overview because it's not like fully unboxing but it's like an overview to understand how much this kind of Z Fold it is. It's a really kind of great and amazing phone and I really appreciated what Samsung has put throughout this kind of phone and it's really kind of awesome. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be catching you guys on the next one. As always, stay sharp and creative. Kudos guys and peace.